Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is the Telltale Definitive Edition of The Walking Dead. Season 3, Episode 2. So before we hop in, just a reminder, you are an awesome person. So keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's hop in and take a walk on the dead side. Conrad? Did he not make it out? He lost it in the tunnel. Attacked us. What do you mean? What happened? He and Clem started arguing. And then... Sh shit just went south. We had to... Leave him behind. <sighs> shit! Fuck! Try to stay quiet. And the girl, where is she? Or should we assume the worst? She ran off. I just don't know what the hell is going on anymore. God, what a shit show. This isn't I really do fun. feel bad for Trip. But right now we need to find Kate and Eleanor. Trip seems to be a legitimately good, like good to the core kind of guy. You're right. I just wish. I just, I feel bad for him. Because he's, he's just losing people left and right. The gates are this way. If your people are here, that's where they would have ended up. Why is it so quiet? Thought there'd be new frontier marching in the streets and shit. Practicing on walkers or... Whatever the fuck they do. It does seem strangely quiet. Maybe we just got lucky. Or we're walking into an ambush. Ah, fuck. Did they see us? I don't think so. Mm, probably. Can you see anything, Hobby? What are they doing? That's their car! Hey, keep it down. Kate? Kate, can you hear me? Kate, talk to me. Say something. Javi? Yes. Could really use something to take the edge off right about now. Very funny. I've been saving it for a while. Kate! Are you... Are you okay? Come here. Where's Eleanor? She... She went ahead to get help. She hasn't come back. Damn it. They must have got her. Jesus, how far is it to their compound? Not too much farther now, a couple blocks at most. Gabe, help me lift her up. <laughs> I'm thinking we walk right up to their front door and beg if we have to. All right, fine. Here we go. Not sure how well this is going to work out, but... There it is. New Richmond. We're here, Kate. I'm going to get you inside, okay? Javi? If they can save me... How about you and me finally take that trip to Norway? The Northern Lights. Remember? Sky lit up all green and... purple. As long as we make some time to hit the slopes, I'm in. Jesus, there's a solid possibility this isn't going to go our way. If you want to stay behind, I wouldn't blame you. Hey, this is where I was going in the first place. Hey! You again! You must have 
have some kind of death wish. She needs medical help. And you have one of our people. Uh-huh. What's your point? After what you did to our people? I'm not inclined to help any of you. I know we've both got a bone to pick here, but we can hash that out later. She needs to get to the hospital or she's gonna die. Then I guess she's gonna die. It was your men that shot her. Your bullets. You owe it to us to help now. We don't owe you shit. It's got nothing to do with me. Your people, your problem. That girl your people shot, that was her daughter. And the other one, Gabe, he's right here beside me watching her die. You can stop this if you want to. Please, Kate's dying. She needs help. It's not like I don't have a heart, okay? But your people started this whole fucking thing in the first place. Let's not forget what you did at Prescott, what you did to our home. Prescott, right. That whole situation was a damn mess. Uh, it happened. It's over. Nothing I can do about it now. Please, I am begging you, just let us in. Now, all of you, lower your weapons. Might be a good idea to play along here, at least for now. They you do have the high down, ground. I'll see that as an expression of good faith. Nice and easy. Or else this is gonna end bad. Everybody, put him down. Trip, please. You're the boss. Yeah, okay. Hands behind your heads, all of you. We let him do this, it's over. We can't give him another inch. No. Guess we're doing this the hard way then. What the hell's going on out here? They said they weren't here to hurt anybody, so I was trying to see if they... Oh, my God. Dad? Um... Dude. I'm sorry, what? Hang on, that was a little bit too hard of a left turn for me to keep up with. So you're telling me that David, who gave Javier crap the whole time about how, oh, you left and blah, 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 you left us behind, apparently abandoned his family for four years during the apocalypse to go off and become the leader of some gang? Okay, that's ironic. All right, uh, yeah, I told him the truth. Wow, less than 1% of players tried to negotiate. Most people opened fire, the rest tried to surrender. Okay. I feel like he was on the TV show, and that's why it's such a high percentage of people took him at his word. I seem to remember him, Rick, and Daryl, and some kind of situation involving a panel truck full of food ending up in a pond. It's been a really long time since I paid any attention to the TV show, though, so. Conrad's threat to Clementine. Wow, 10% did not. Interesting. Most people killed Conrad. Which I guess kind of makes sense that you're still protective of Clementine. 95%, almost 96% of players capitulated to Max's demands. Only 4% didn't. Wow. I'm used to seeing everything being, you know, more like these up here, the 60%, 50%, you know, 49%. Seeing 
numbers like this, 86%, 89, 95, almost 96. Like that's, that's unusual. I wonder what it is that, well, I guess it kind of makes sense for these two. If I'm right about this Jesus person being from the TV show, I sort of understand that one. And then the protectiveness over Clementine makes this one seem to make sense. The 96% playing of players capitulating to Max's demands, though, that one's interesting. I would not have expected that many people to to go along with things there. Huh. Sorry, I'm, I'm still a little bit shell-shocked by the whole end twist there with David. Because you wouldn't expect him to after all of his mess about being there for the family, you wouldn't really expect him to be the one that would abandon his family and run off to start a new life or whatever. Makes me wonder, I assume we're gonna see this through flashbacks, but it makes me wonder how things went the way that they did how it is that Kate, Mariana, and Gabe ended up going off with Javier and David ended up on his own. Maybe? I'm wondering if maybe it's possible that Kate made good on her desire to leave David. Or maybe... I because I think they they were split up into two different vehicles during the flashback to when everything broke out originally. David got into the car with their mother and was driving her to the hospital. Kate, I think, got into the van with the kids and Javier and some other guy. So maybe that's how the split up happened? Hmm. I'm I'm not sure, but it's interesting either way. Definitely a heck of a twist. So what happens when we do this? Does this take us back to the main menu? I'm assuming it does. Yep. Straight back to the main menu. For episode three, Above the Law. Shocking developments drive a wedge between brothers in arms. Which we'll get to in the next episode. These episodes get shorter and shorter, though. That's one thing I'm noticing. Like, not what I'm doing right here, but the actual games episodes. They're getting shorter and shorter every single time. It's weird. Like, they went from an hour and a half. That one was maybe an hour? Like, an hour 15 tops? Unless I'm just somehow picking, like, a super fast way through the story of the episode. And there's a much more fleshed out version that I'm not choosing my way into somehow. But otherwise, it just, they feel like they're getting shorter and shorter. Oh, well. At least the story is good, right? So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help keep the YouTube overlords happy. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on the next episode or any of the other games that I play here at Gaming Apocalypse, well, do what all the other YouTubers say to do. You know, smash the like button and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, blah, blah, blah. blah. You, you've heard it from them before. You, you know what to do. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember, life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. Catch you in the next one.